So some of you um, might have watched the Kerbera video, it's on my feed, like, share, subscribe, all that sort of stuff, but anyway, enough of that, um, you know what to do if you like it, if you don't like it, then that's fine as well, um, if you want any specific videos, drop me a drop me a message and I'll see what I can do, but what, to, what, what this video is about is um, trying to reduce the, um, the noise, so at the moment, currently running BBR headers, 200 cell mid pipe and a free flowing Cobra back box and last week at, at, at Kerbera it was found to be 105.4 and the limit is 105 so I'm left with a problem so hopefully this will solve the problem so first of all let's let's kick off with um, opening the box and I'm going to see if these are any good so bought from um, Demon Tweaks, they're quite expensive really, there is cheaper ones on eBay, um, but you know, let's have a see what the quality is like on these. So what we're talking about is, nicely well packaged, let's have a look, any damage, got something to play with later on, okay, so, this is what we are talking about. Decibel reducers. So these fit on the end, um, and hopefully it does exactly as it says on the tin and reduces the, de uh, the decibel limit. These are supposed to be. These are supposed to fit on um, any any tailpipe between two and. Three four inches I think that they slip over the, uh, the end and then you've got some sort of grub screws here which come as part of the pack um, you have to buy one at one um, one you don't get a, you don't get two sort of thing uh, so if you need to you have to order two um, these fit in I take it that they screw onto the hurt and then grip onto the end of the can just one second because I just happen to have here a, uh, I'm going to be fitting them up, hopefully, fingers crossed, on my Cobra back box. Um, this is a three inch BBR pipe. Um, so, yeah. I'm not sure if I like the look of it, to be honest, but it'll do the job. Okay, so let's see how they look when they fit in. Right, okay, so um, now they're unboxed. I've not put them on yet. What this is now, this is. Um, without the decibel reducers in so I'm going to fire it up so you can see how it sounds before any modification was done um, this is what it was running at at Kerbera now obviously this is just an iPad um, sort of app so how accurate is I don't know seems to be pretty similar though, to be fair So they're now fitted, took took a couple of minutes, they're not the best fitting thing in the world. So let's have a listen and watch the stats.
Okay, thanks for watching. Um, that's the experiment over with. I think it's three, maybe four decibels quieter. Equipment was set up in the same position and, um, you know, very, very um, almost identical to be honest with you. Um, so, yeah, thanks for watching. Subscribe, like, comment, and all that sort of stuff. Thank you. Okay, so they're on. What do I think? Um, well, they don't fit very well. I'm going to be absolutely honest with you. They keep flicking off, so I need to come up with a way of sorting that out. They look horrendous, um, to be honest with you. And, no, I'm not a fan. However, um, I think looking at the stats, they, um, they are quieter, so they have baffled it a little bit. And, to be honest with you, in the, in the vehicle, um, it certainly does sound um a lot quieter so, so a lot quieter so if they've done the job then happy days will i keep them on absolutely not but to be honest with you that was never the plan anyway the plan is to get me through mot's if that becomes an issue and also to um to satisfy any um decibel levers that it that it, that it might fail okay so marks out of 10 well they're expensive they don't fit right they look horrendous when they're on. Um, so at the moment, I'm going to give them 4 out of 10. So thanks for watching.